Hello, this is Tony Hiller from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about climate. Today's question is, is extreme weather increasing in the United States? Well, according to the National Wildlife Federation, it is. They say that hurricanes, heat waves, drought, wildfires, and just about everything else is getting worse, and it's your fault. So what does the data show? Well, the actual data from NOAA shows that hurricanes are decreasing in the U.S. They peaked in the 1890s when we were getting more than 2.5 hurricanes per year. The last 11 years period has actually been one of the quietest on record, averaging less than one hurricane per year. So no, hurricanes are not getting worse in the U.S. They're actually getting better. What about heat waves? Once again, NOAA data shows that the National Wildlife Federation claims are incorrect. 90 degree days peaked in the 1930s when we had more than 13% of days were over 90 degrees. We had another peak in the 1950s when more than 12% of days were over 90 degrees. Now we average just over 9%. So heat waves are getting less severe. Same thing with 100 degree days. In the 1930s, more than 3% of days were over 100 degrees. In the 1950s, almost 2.5%, and now we're down to about 1.5%. So the National Wildlife Federation claims about heat waves are wrong. So what about their claims about drought? Are droughts getting worse in the U.S., and is the U.S. getting drier? Well, according to NOAA data, the exact opposite is happening. The U.S. is getting wetter. And in fact, the last two years have been the wettest two-year period on record in the U.S. Notice that there was less precipitation prior to 1970. And generally, since 1970, the U.S. has been wetter than normal. The Palmer Drought Index from NOAA shows the same thing. They show that we had very bad droughts in brown in the 1930s, the 1950s, 1960s. But since then, generally, we've been wetter than normal. We've had a few periods of drought, but they haven't been as severe or as long-lasting as they were prior to 1970. So no, the claims about drought getting worse are simply false. The exact opposite is happening. The National Wildlife Federation also reported that forest fires are getting worse in the United States. But data from the U.S. Forest Service shows the exact opposite. They show that back in the 1930s, we would get about 50 million acres per year burning. And now we average of less than 10. There was a sharp drop from the 1930s to the 1960s. In 1938, the New York Times reported one forest fire every three minutes in the U.S. in 1937, and that a total of almost 22 million acres of forest burned in 1937. Compare that to all the reports in the press last year that 10 million acres was a record. Clearly that was not true. We used to get about five times as much burn acreage in the U.S. as we get now. So the claims from the National Wildlife Federation about forest fires are simply false, just like all their other claims. One more indication that the U.S. climate is becoming less severe is that violent tornadoes have become less common in the U.S. According to this graph from NOAA, F3 plus tornadoes were more common prior to the 1980s, and since then we've been generally getting fewer of them. So summarizing today's presentation, Every single claim from the National Wildlife Federation about extreme weather increasing in the U.S. was incorrect. Generally, the U.S. climate is becoming less extreme. Please visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been playing back the curtain on junk science for a long time.